Welcome back everybody. I'm the Jimmer. This is Tiny Tank 2 Tournament Bootleg Losers Bracket Episode 2. Oh my goodness. It's a mouthful. Um, we're moving along. We're in the second round of the Losers Bracket. So we got four battles for this episode. Go ahead and get this started. You know what? I didn't fire up the old remote control. There it is. I was afraid the Chucky Child ran off with it for a minute. Oh, I gotta fire up the old remote control controls. That makes sense, right? Totally. Hopefully the uh, audio is better. I, I messed with the sliders. I was trying, I think I was just trying to be quiet last time. I got, uh, my kid's, uh, come on, the next pattern. There we go. My kid's bedroom is the next room over from the computer room, so I was trying not to be too, too loud. But I, I think it was mostly just the sliders were, uh, borked. Anyway, we have, oh, got that mixed up. We have, I think these are J, J Cavalier? J, J Cavalier. Okay, drop the controller. Oh. Sorry, just. Oh no, the controller doesn't want to work. Come on, fucker. That's right, that's right. J, Jack, Jack, JK, Avalier 9? There's probably some like foreign thing. Jack of Lear 9. Uh, taking on Vulcan. <laughs> so, Jack of Lear has the. Oh, why are these? I just put brand new batteries in this. Why are you doing this? There we go. Jack of Lear has the Heffalump, the Hydra, the Storefish, and the Globefish. And that's taken on the Bullet Storm, Pack Rat Bullet Storm. I think that's what was supposed to be spawned in. I'm just kind of going with uh, what adds up right. I'm not entirely sure. If it's wrong, I apologize. It's like uh, Vulcan getting a, a little bit of a bloody nose right out of the gate. Feel the heat just pouring off my computer. It's a little bit, uh, it's been hot here. It's like over 90 degrees freedom here today. I don't know what that is in metric. It's like probably like 30 or 40 or something. That's a lot. It was hot. And uh, the AC doesn't really reach this room. So it's a little toasty in here, and I can just feel the, the fans just kicked on on my uh, tower. And I, I can feel the heat. Uh, why is that picking up DQ time? Oh, I guess it is kind of a ways out here. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, it flipped over, and I think just the recoil is kind of pushing it away every time it fires. Shouldn't why that shouldn't be getting DQ time. It's just sitting still. Uh, I really don't know. It's an interesting way to climb a hill. Oh, and there's one down. Yeah, I don't know. That seems like why is every everything has DQ time? Weird. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. So, Jack of Lear wins round one. Get this reset. Oh, yeah, did I ever, did I save it? Yeah, use time limit saved, okay. Round two. Get to the action. Yeah, it looks like basically the same thing. The, uh, Vulcan's forces to, oh, don't, don't, oh, that is really unfortunate. Well, I'm still able to fire at least, but yeah, Vulcan's forces take a good pounding right off the line. 
And, oh yeah, it just seems like a lot of DQ time in this. So. Maybe both entry or both uh, teams like to uh, keep their distance and are just uh, getting a little too far away. Close in strafe and run there. Oh, there it goes. Both. Oh, you know what? Do I have the. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. Five seconds left. And there it is. So congratulations to Jacques of Lear picking up the win. Condolences to Vulcan. Uh, pretty close match. I mean, the first one was a bit farther apart, but uh, second, second one very close. Let me record that result. And next we got Scribbles against Sean Reed. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oops. And yeah, once again, uh, apologies if it's like not. Was oh, that what I? Did I pick the wrong one? There it is. Apologies if it's like not the right uh, amount of uh, entries. I uh, or the right. Uh, order and all that sort of stuff. I'm just kind of getting as close as I can to the resource amount uh, based on what you've got in the folder. I didn't get, I just got the, the blueprints so I didn't get like the, you know, spawn this in the first slot and that in the second slot sort of thing. So we've got Scribbles has the more traditional looking tanks. And Sean Reed has these flat boys. Two of them with spray guns, one of them with a mine. Oh, it's gonna mine itself. Never good. <coughs> and then, uh. I don't even. Are these laser guns? I hear lasers going off. Oh, right here, this one's got laser guns. So it looks like two laser gun craft and two uh, missile craft. Ooh, tumbly. Dual barrel roll. <coughs> oh, oh, sorry. Drink, grab a drink of water.
Ooh. Scribbles is in the lead. It's like just one small boy left. And uh, it's basically done. Ooh. Collision. And there we go. Alright, first round we go to Scribbles with this reset and get round number two underway. Yeah, it looks like the initial missile volley. Oh no. I was going to say they missed, but it looks like they circled back around and a few glancing blows. There we go. We see those blast cannons firing. But they, uh, they fire from such range that they really. Looks like maybe knocked a couple surface blocks off, but uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know. Something changed. Seems like that mine has been hitting itself a lot. <laughs> I know there's been some patches lately, so I don't know if that changed things or, or what. Oh, there it is again. Mine underneath that uh, uh, vehicle. Looks like it's just like stuck on the train. There it goes. Ooh, big missile hit there. Thirty seconds left. This thing, no idea. Oh, some DQ time! Oh, it was some DQ time starting to rack up on those underbrush. Ten seconds left. And there it is. So congratulations to Scribbles. Picking up the win. Condolences to Sean Reed. Getting eliminated here. Let's uh, keep right on a trucking. Oops. Record that result. And next we have Formicide against Satire. Have the ant lion 
rattlesnake, and another antlion. There's absolutely gorgeous looking vehicles. Let me give this a quick, uh, get that. There we go. Get stuff loaded in. Yeah, I think they're just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have the Kitties by Satire. Not bad looking. A little bit uh, different aesthetic. But not unattractive. I have, my settings are just goofy. I gotta, I gotta do something real quick. This? No. There it is. See how that all went the wrong way. Fantastic, but better at least. Let's get this on pause, get the battle underway. Ooh. Looks like the kitties miss. Oh no, one shot landed. The sand lions beat up. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Took a shot. But, uh, yeah, one kitty gone, and the other one's just getting torn up. All those cram shells are just big APS rounds. Oh, gone. Let's see your gun. It's got decorations on it, so it's hard to tell. I think those are cram shells. Oh, gone too, damn. Formicide just crushing it first round. We'll go round two. that's about it just seems like there's constantly firing high when we just looked at the uh, auto detection yeah once again just sails right over I'm not sure what the issue is there we just looked at detection was at uh, oof big missile hit detection was at 1.0 so not really much I can think of on my end It's just weird that the uh, AI would just consistently aim high like that. Oh, and there it is. Alright, looks like it's going to be congratulations to Formicide. Getting a uh, decisive win here, condolences to Satire. Kitties were cute, but uh, cuteness doesn't kill. Next round. Tim against the Vulture by Asteron. No mimic. Oh yeah, that's right. It's the same thing. Just one. We'll we'll do the mimics. Not sure. The same cost and everything. So it must just be like. For performance reasons, which I've got no reason to worry about that. Not at this scale, anyway. Astron's Vulture. The two of these. Alright. Let's give this a tip tap tap. Tip tap tap. So we've got, uh, oh, I'm switched around. So we've got, uh, Tim has three Hotchkiss tanks. 
really nice looking tanks. Lots of details. Overall, really nice. And then taking on the vultures. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to come right out and say it kind of ugly. But beauty doesn't whip metals. Brute strength and firepower does. So let's get this unpause and uh, see who's going to put out the most damage. Yeah, vultures pretty strong. I mean, they got the shields, they got the lasers. Oh, and as I say that, this one just blows up. I'm not even sure. What are, what are the Hotchkiss tanks even? Oh, this one's missing a turret. It's just be like kind of like a derp gun. Doesn't seem like that big a gun, but it seems to pack a pretty good punch. This one's totally gutted. See the AI core right there. Oh, friendly uh, bump there. Flips this tank all the way over. Unfortunate. This one's totally disabled, yeah, gone. So, a pretty close battle. All said. Yeah, uh, she's firing at this empty husk. Need to get a couple hits in on this bad boy right here. I don't think it would take all that much. Twenty five seconds. Alright, first round goes to Astrion and his Vulture. Oops, sorry. And we'll get round number two underway. There we go. This laser's got those uh, continuous lasers just slowly eating away at uh, one Hotchkiss at a time. And you know, we see it once again, this one just getting gutted, like immediately. I'm guessing that's heat. It must be heat getting through. And there we go. Looks like switching targets. The last time they just all just kept by. Oh, it's gone. AI yeah, dead. That's the reason. Last time they just kind of all focused on that one tank, even though it was basically out. And the uh, other vulture was able to get free reign. This time it's uh, three on one, and this vulture is getting uh, run down. Looks like this one's gonna go to a round three. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, I died right there. Oh no, not AI I died, but uh, very close. Yeah, you can see the AI core still right there. Yeah, this tank. Almost taken out, blown basically in half, and the half that remains is battered. But uh, that said, these two are 100%, so they're just going to kind of cruise around here in the dunes and uh, take pot shots on that vulture. Looks like it's going to get uh, 
DQ before the timer runs out too. seconds. Alright, looks like Tim wins round two. We're going to go to a round three. See how this one goes. Oop, a little bump there. This time, uh, as we've seen the last two rounds, one of the vultures right off the hop got uh, taken out. This time it's not happening though. Oh, this vulture's immobilized. One minute left. Looks like uh, the vultures are quite a ways ahead. Oh, oh no. This one's picking up the DQ times though. Look at that. Oof. Oh, blows the lead. That DQ time, that is super unfortunate. All it had to do was basically just coast to victory and ran out of bounds. That's that said, two Hotch gets down and the third taking damage. Ten seconds, it needs a critical hit. And there we go, so congratulations to Astron. So like Vulture picks up the win. Uh, close final battle there. Close matchup, close final battle. But to Astro and Mosan, condolences to Tim. Hotchkiss tanks are gorgeous, but unfortunately getting eliminated. I believe that's it for this episode. Let me just double check the roster. Yep, and I am all caught up after this one. Gotta wait till, uh, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, Henry, right? That's who's doing this, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Mr. Henry Wong. Uh, we're just gonna wait on him, get the uh, the next round of losers down here, and uh, run some more battles. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Oh, hopefully, the audio is better in this one, and uh, um, possibly I don't know. We'll have to see. I'd like to do another tournament, but I've just been super busy. Summertime is a busy time for me. Uh, a little extra work and. Uh, when the weather's nice, uh, I want to get out there and do outside stuff. So, I don't know. I've got uh, some tournament ideas kicking around, but they might have to wait until the fall. But uh, I'm Jibber Jabberin. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.